Hey, what is up guys? I got a review for you right here. It's the Saddleback Large Leather Wallet. And this one is in the chestnut color. Taking a look on the front, you can see that there's just one big piece of leather with their logo right here. And taking a look on the back, you can see that the same piece of leather just continues. Opening it up, we can see that we have four spots for credit cards. And uh, any one of these slots could probably fit maybe four or five cards, maybe even up to ten cards, depending on how much you stretch them. Uh, and how you would stretch these is that you would uh, add a few cards, leave them for a while, maybe add a few cards, leave them for a while. If you want to be even more overkill, you could actually wet the, wet, wet the leather, and it will mold even nicer to what you put in it. Keep in mind, though, that once you've stretched the leather, there isn't a way to unstretch it. So you'll be stuck with a uh, credit card slot that can only handle maybe five or more cards. If you have less than that, they will just flop around and won't be secure at all. Okay, so here we have these four, p uh, these four slots. And underneath them, we have huge slots right here for receipts or any kind of tickets or anything like that. And we have another one on the other side. And this goes all the way to this seam right here. And this is really nicely stitched with high quality nylon thread. Uh, and uh, opening it up, this is the money spot. And uh, you can see here that I have some currency in here. It just happens to be some, uh, some Chinese currency. Uh, I'm not from China, I'm from Sweden still. And that's what I had lying in there. Um, now this side right here is aligned with pig skin and this side right here actually has leather on it and that's a feature because you could actually grab this whole this whole side and pull it out and why is that you may, may ask yourself well this wallet actually has a hidden cash compartment and what you do here is that you can see this side is also lined with pig skin underneath this flap what you would do the hair is that you would take your your um, bells, and I'm trying to do this through a viewfinder, <laughs> finding it quite hard, and you would put it down in here. Then you would take this flap and simply fold it all the way down over your cache. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but the cash is nowhere to be found. So you could go, oh, hi thief, I have money on me. Uh, or maybe more realistically, you could maybe hide it from, well, I really don't know who you would want to hide it for from. Uh, maybe your wife, your children, uh, maybe you just want to uh, have some other currency in here and you want to just get rid of it so it won't mix in with the other currency that you're having maybe some important receipts or checks or something like that you can just use your imagination so anyway this is a great wallet and I believe that the pricing on this is really fair due to the fact that they have a hundred year warranty and if it breaks before you do they'll replace it for free that's kind of their uh, kind of their bit there. Um, however, I do actually have one complaint with this, and I had this with my uh, passport as well, passport cover, which I also have a review for. And that is the fact that you get this logo right here, and this logo is of blue. The dog of Dave, the man who owns this company, and I did not realize that I was going to get this logo when I bought this. I thought that the, this logo is in the images on saddleback.com however I thought that they had photoed um, Dave's private items and that he had put this in for himself but no this is this is on everything so just keep that in mind if you like dogs then yeah that's great I uh, like dogs but I'm not really that keen on having uh, his dog in my wallet. 
So if you don't like dogs, then you're out of luck. But still, it's a great wallet and I would still recommend getting it. Um, and once again, this is in chestnut and I really think it's a beautiful color and I think it will age really, really nicely. So that's it for me. Have a, have a great day. Uh, I, uh, and if you want, you could maybe leave a like, subscribe or favorite this video. Uh, no pressure though. I really don't like people who try to pressure people like that. Anyway, have a good one. Bye guys.